Good morning, good morning everyone. It's your girl Bree. I'm here with a quick little message on this morning. In this season, we are not clearing up anything, explaining anything, compromising with anybody in this season. We're not doing it. You don't have to do it. Just know, whatever that you have asked God to do, don't worry about how he's doing it. He doing it. You wondering why people is leaving out of your life. You see, because you prayed and you asked God for some loyalty. You, you prayed and you asked God to remove the snakes from out of your life. And people you never thought started leaving, started not call, uh, calling you, started not answering your calls because you prayed for those things. Everything that you prayed for in your life is happening right here, right now, at this season, at this present moment. God is revealing, removing, and restoring some things. God is making sure that in this season that you are not willing to compromise, that you're not willing to do any of these things with the people that he has removed out of your life. He removed those people out of your life because he's seen the hidden agendas that they had for your life. They was not bringing anything to the table in your life that was not helping you go up but steady pulling you down. So God, so you prayed and God started removing people. In this season, God is answering prayers, your prayers, what you have prayed, what you have went bold before his throne concerning the matters that was bothering you, concerning things you wanted to change in your life, concerning things you wanted to heal in your life. So God is moving Moving on your behalf. He's moving in a mighty way. He is not letting nothing overtake you. He is not allowing you to compromise with anybody. He is not allowing any of that to happen in this season because this is your season, the season of victory, the season of you getting everything that you asked of. Uh, him for the season of him restoring restoring that hurt that pain restoring the love to yourself that you was giving out you was giving out everybody else love but you was neglecting to love yourself so in this season this is a season of you loving yourself it is the season of you taking care of you it is a season of you putting you first it is a season all about you God is restoring God is revealing he is doing some things in your life that is for you because of your obedience because of the sacrifices you have made for him, because of you understanding what he has told you, understanding how he has moved on your behalf. You did it, and God is rewarding you for everything that you have done in this season right here. This is a season of greatness for you. Greater things are coming to you. You have not seen anything yet. You just got a little whiff of it. God just sprinkled you a little bit. But baby, the blessings that he has for you in this season, baby, oh baby, they're going to know about it. They're going to hear about it. They're going to see it, baby. You see, the glory is shining up upon you, baby, but God not finished shining you. You see, he just put a little bit of polish on you, Lord God. But God is about to polish you tremendously. And they're not going to understand how. They're not going to understand why. But they're going to know it was the hand of God upon your life. It was him who turned every situation and circumstances that you was facing around. You endured. You kept going through your test, through your storm, when the whole books was thrown at you. You kept walking. You kept talking. You kept seeking him. You kept praising. You kept worshiping him. You kept putting your faith in him. See, uh... A lot of people need to understand when God is for you, can't nothing be against you. Sometimes you be against your own self. Sometimes... <clears throat> The havoc and the chaos we bring in our own lives. We bring that into our own lives because we know better. But at that time that we know better, we don't choose to do better. We choose to do something that's beneficial to us at that time. So we have to sacrifice the beneficial consequences of our actions that we have took when we knew better what to do. When we knew better what to do and how to move and how to react and how to talk and how to walk and how to submit to things. No, we want to do things our way. So now we have to reap the consequences. But God said we have learned the lessons. We have passed the test. We have a, a, achieved the assignment. He said, so now here comes the reward. Here comes the reward that he is blessing us with. And he said he's blessing us in a mighty way. And the blessings that he has bestowed upon us he see he blessed us with more wisdom knowledge you know you have to learn to thank God for the blessings that he has bestowed upon you have to learn to thank him for everything that he has done for you and how he's continued to bless you and how he continued to move on your behalf when the enemy thought he had you 
when the enemy threw stuff and made you look like you was in an illusion, like you wasn't going to get out, like you wasn't going to overcome that heartbreak, like you wasn't going to get out of that financial debt, like you wasn't going to get out of that depression, like you wasn't going to get out of that misery. God stepped in. He showed you the light and you kept pressing forward to that light and you hear and now you have reached that light. You have reached your destined assignment where you needed to be. It's here and now. His glory, his peace, his mercy, his grace is upon you. It is here is now that his blessings will overtake you, overflow for you. He said your storehouse will overflow. He said the windows of heaven are open. Do you hear the angels calling your name? Can you hear them calling your name? Do you hear him say good job, my good and faithful servant? Because you overcame everything that was thrown your way. Every trap that the enemy set up for you, the enemy ended up falling in his own trap. You did not fall. You did not waver. But you stood still on all ten. And because of that, you stood on his word. You still on God's promises. When you could have went left, you went straight. And for that, God is going to reward you. And for that, God is going to bless you. And for that, God is going to anoint you. God has a mighty work for you to do. God is turning things around for you because you are the apple of his eyes you are the prize you heard me you are the secret jewel that nobody knew okay you everybody thought that you was just a dried up rock only to find out that you was a diamond you heard me a gem god had hidden his most precious gem that he had to keep close and near to him and for you being obedient and for you trusting in him and believing in him and all that he has promised you and told you you knew it was going to work out for your good so he turning things around for you it is here and now the blessings are here and now the overflowment of the lord is here and now it's it's here for you at this present moment get ready settle up blessings is coming god has blessings for you blessings on top of blessings i keep telling y'all god has set people up there looking for you looking for you to bless you looking for you to help you along this journey looking for you you're reading you're meeting your soul tribe you're meeting your family you're meeting your people the ones who's going to encourage you and help you get your business off the line pay attention to who's watching you they're watching even your haters is watching they're learning something for you you keep teaching you keep preaching you keep getting up here and doing what you have to do because everything is for his glory god will get the glory out of everything in the end what well, is your girl brie i love you guys i wish you guys a blessed and prosperous day i'll be back to drop y'all a little bit of knowledge y'all stay blessed stay prayed up and remember no matter what be throwing your way today they can walk in and tell you that you fired to god be the glory they can come and tell you that, that you evicted to God be the glory. You can lose your car today to God be the glory. You know, no matter what is thrown your way today, to God be the glory. Because it is everything that you're going through is for a bigger purpose. It is for God's glory. If you lose something small, that's because he got something bigger for y'all. Stop looking at everything as a loss and think about what you gained. You got off that messy job. You got out of that raggedy house. You, you, you got out of that financial debt. You know what I'm saying? You got to think, of, look at things like that. Look at things in the spiritual eyes. Everything is, is working together for you and your family good. Be blessed, y'all. Be humble, thankful, grateful at all given times for every blessing that he has bestowed upon you. Peace.